Yeah, I had a great time, <laughs> despite how somber the subject matter was. Sure. I mean, it says right in the script, forget the past, kill it if you have to. <laughs> You're doing a pretty good job. I'm trying. Uh, in fact, my first reaction was, can't we push this off until nine? <laughs> you know, I said earlier, I don't want to repeat myself, I only asked for two things, no cameos and a run of the trilogy part. See how well that worked out for me? But um, yeah, you look for scripts that are highly original, and that's why I thought Last Jedi was incredibly daring, you know? I mean, because I remember one thing that was very informative to me, because I would say like, you know, but we really have to think of what the audience expects and what they want. And he says, no, no, we have to do the opposite. We have to give them something they don't expect that we want. Yeah. And I started making the emotional disconnect that I need to go through when I read Seven. Not the fact that I was just in at the end, the fact when I realized, oh my gosh, I'll never get to work with Harrison Ford again. That was the first big disconnect. Then the second one was, you know, realizing that, thinking that they'd kill me off in nine, that they were gonna, you know, speed it up a little, you know, get rid of the old fogies and focus on the new gang. Uh, and, and then I relished the fact that I had at least a scene with Carrie. Because I kept saying, why would Luke turn off his telepathic powers with his sister? But w then what happened with Carrie in real life, I just, so that was so devastating that you go, well, we'll never get the band back together. So I'm really good with the fact that, um, you know, I had a wonderful entrance in seven and I had a wonderful exit in eight. I couldn't ask for anything more.